In 2015, a fatal bus crash in Coventry shocked the country. This CCTV footage captured the shocking moment the driver of the X18 bus confused his accelerator for the brake. The bus hurtled across a pavement full of pedestrians before ploughing into the side of a busy supermarket. Seven-year-old Rowan Fitzgerald and pensioner Dora Hancocks lost their lives in the crash. This is the scene of the crash today and while the building behind me has now been repaired, the lives of Dora and Rowan's families will never be the same again. That's why Rowan's family are seeking change as a result of his death. They're backing a campaign by their local MP to change the law in Rowan's name. It's called Rowan's Law and if it comes into effect it will reduce the maximum number of hours local bus drivers are allowed to work. An inquiry into the Coventry crash found that the driver, 77-year-old Kalish Chanda, a former Lord Mayor of Leamington Spa, had been working more than 70 hours a week before it happened. Under the current law, bus drivers could work up to 130 hours over two weeks. The Rowan's Law Bill seeks to limit the number of hours bus drivers can work in a week to 56. That's in line with the haulage industry. It should not be right that a box of cornflakes has a greater chance of arriving safely than a child on a bus in our country. The bus drivers are very aware of the issues. They, they realise that there's a huge issue of fatigue amongst them, working extremely long hours, and that bus operators are finding loopholes in the existing legislation.